Placenta accreta is when the placental villi directly attach onto the myometrium of the uterus. The risk factors, which is very important, include prior uterine surgery, whether or not the patient had a previous dilation or curettage or even a C-section. And because they had prior surgery, they can also typically have placenta previa. And placenta previa is just the presence of the placenta in the lower uterine segment. And what can happen is it can lead to a partial or full obstruction of the neck of the uterus. And this is really dangerous dangerous because it can be a high risk of hemorrhage when you have rupture of the placental vessels and you can also have birth complications. So placenta previa clinically again can present with the placenta previa but typically it's diagnosed incidentally on second trimester ultrasound and what you can see is myometrial thinning and also numerous placental lacunae. These placental lacunae are just vascular spaces that are filled with the maternal blood. What happens is after fetal delivery what you have is an adherent placenta that's just stuck onto the uterus. And if you try to manually remove the placenta, it can lead to profuse maternal bleeding and eventually postpartum hemorrhage. It can also lead to DIC or disseminated intravascular coagulation and also maternal death. Typically, at the time of delivery, you might require an emergency hysterectomy to achieve hemostasis and avoid any further complications. As a quick tidbit, so placenta accreta are when the villi attach to the myometrium, but they're not invading or penetrating into it. In increta, this is where you have have penetration into the myometrium and the last one is pericreta. In pericreta, it penetrates the myometrium and it penetrates the serosa and sometimes it can even penetrate the organs. 